Alright, let's go to the dojo. But I might as well talk to my butt over here. I haven't seen him in a while. Also, look at this. Little sneaky dig spot. Never saw before. Couldn't open that chest because it got a bear in it. Uh... This, uh... What was his name? He was like the man with no name, right? I guess he's probably in his house. Or he's at the actual festival. That might be the case. Festival would make more sense, wouldn't it? I just want to get to the dojo now. Finally can afford everything there. Good times will be had by all. But first we gotta dig this up. Nice. So many dig spots. Right, please don't. Please don't. Alright, fast enough. Leave me be, creature. Alright, this was the one that was on fire. Which is weird, because it's like we're already using the gale wind power. I guess it was just on fire in general. Maybe it just, you know, he was just burning them off. Godly charm. Alright, he's gonna be so surprised when I have enough money to buy his thing. What was it? It was a taunt, wasn't it? I'm surprised to see you here amid such harsh weather. Have you come to polish your skills in the fighting arts? Yeah, give me that god technique golden fury. To insult foes and get demon fangs. That's great. We'll get so many demon fangs in no time. So you, you once again choose to try your hand at the fighting arts? I suppose I have no choice. I'll do as you wish and allow you to enroll in my dojo. But I must warn you, I won't hold back this time. Ah, ooh. He's gonna do the thing where his head goes weird. Yeah, there he goes. He loves it. Burning fire. Palms of thunder. Wah. Are you mentally prepared to handle the ultimate challenge? You're just teaching me how to taunt, dude. Step inside and test your might. I hope it's more than just barking. I want it to be silly. Let the lesson begin. We'll practice the Golden Fury go 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 God Technique. Take these tips to heart and remember them as we train. Uh, during battle, press a circle to insult the enemy. Doing so will cause your foe to drop a demon fang. Well, did you understand? Yeah, I think so. I'll grant you this technique scroll. Check it when you forget what it means to be a warrior. Very expensive, but I think it's worth it. The technique can only be mastered by the best. It's not something to be learned. You must have the innate ability. Train until your muscles ache to train some more. Yo, I'm gonna taunt this dummy so hard. Was that like a pose? Oh! That's a good taunt. Oh, you do sick damage. It combos. It kind of ends a combo, though. I want to pee on him. Would you like to... No. No, I just wanted to try to pee on you. Okay, well, that's great. So, we get points for peeing on enemies. Had enough, eh? Listen, Wolf, standing experience in a single skill is admirable, but you must never lose the drive for self-improvement. I pray that you do not forget that. That is fantastic. What a taunt. I mean, I did say I didn't want it to be a bark, so... You don't got anything else, right? If you come to play again, Wolf, I'm sad to say that I have nothing left to teach you, friend. Go on outside and frolic. Enjoy yourself. The weather is bad. I'll bite ya. What was that run? He, like, pulled me and I just kept running. Alright, so pee on enemies, get more beast fangs. Good to know. Alright, this festival better be cool. Hey, Stray Bead. Nice. We're finally starting to find these things. Hopefully it's not a spooky festival. Hopefully a kid doesn't get shot by an arrow. It already sounds pretty spooky. How you doing? Aren't people getting ready for the Kamiki Festival tonight? 
I won't sell anything like this. Don't suppose your owner sent you uh, same stuff. You don't end up having anything new, do you? Nope. I wish I could just pee out in the real world. That really didn't make any sense that it not in the battle scenario, but just out here. Hey, what's everyone doing in front of Susano's place? You come out here this instant, Susano. You have some explaining to do. How could you have drunk the sacred sake meant for Kanahana? All of it? Huh? Susano did what now? You can come out, Susano. We're not mad at you. You must have had some reason to drink up the eight purification sake. Uh-oh. This is bad. Why would you drink all the eight purification sake, Pops? I don't care if it's so special. I couldn't help myself. I just had to have a drink. Aw, oh, man. Are we going to have to have an intervention? Well, it wasn't any old sake. And this isn't any old festival. It's been exactly 100 years since Nagi and Shiranu's great victory. We've even been blessed by a glorious full moon. How could you have done such a despicable thing? Leave me alone, I don't care about Nagi and his fleabag friend. I am Susano, the greatest warrior who ever lived. <laughs> There isn't a drop of eight purification sake left. Shizano was acting like a madman when he returned to the village. He drank all the sacred sake and then holed up in his house. All the sacred sake Kushi brewed is gone. Why do you have to go and do that? This is terrible. I mean, eight purification sake is what saved the day in that legend. The timing couldn't be worse with the return of Orochi and all. The dreaded Orochi. It's all my fault. Yeah. I'm to blame for all your misfortunes. Was he the one that pulled the sword? That's right, you fool. Do you realize what I fix we're in now without any sacred sake? It was I who committed that unspeakable act at the Moon Cave. It was I who brought Orochi back to life. I have brought utter destruction upon the world. <sighs> oh, what is that fool talking about? I was sick of hearing about how I'm a descendant of Nagi. Uh, I wanted to prove it was all alive by removing the sword Tsukarami. But the legend was true, and I've unleashed an unspeakable evil. And the curse consumed all of Nippon. This is madness. I have an orange on my head. Do you remove the sacred sword that imprisoned the dreaded Orochi? I fled to the village out of fear. I mean, the silhouette did look like him, didn't it? And I blocked its entrance with a boulder and hid underground. After that, I tried fleeing here and there. But the gods would not leave me be. Ever they stared down at me. They let it be known that I'd never be forgiven. At least not until I slew the dreaded Orochi. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I know that uh, Tsukiyami was removed and the moon cave vanished. But if what Suzano said is true, that would mean... Orochi's rite of sacrifice. The arrow, it's gonna shoot the kid! Is it gonna like come from the moon? Oh no! What a terrible festival. There it is! Are those the uh, eight heads? I don't know what those say either. I 
I would say probably elements just based on the particle effects they had, but probably wrong. That's the arrow. Oh no! He did it. He saved the kid. And the dragonfly. I'm expecting Kushi to be the one that is like designated as a sacrifice. On the eve of the full moon, the eight headed serpent shall appear. And the accursed arrow shall mark the. Well, right, because it was the home. Home of the chosen maiden. Yeah, I forgot about the home bit. I forgot that that's. That's why I was a little confused about the kid getting hit by the arrow, because the story was the thing with the arrow hitting the home. So yeah, Kushi. But I mean, who else would it be? The kid's mom? And the accursed arrow shall mark the home of the chosen maiden. It is exactly as the legend tells. If we don't offer the chosen maiden as a sacrifice, our entire village will be wiped off the face of the earth. There's like five people that live here. You guys can just move. Susano, you're no coward. If the gods tell you to fight, you're the only one who can. You can do it. After all, you saved me, didn't you? I know you can do it. I know it'll come. Wait, Kushi, you're not going to... Oh, she's booking it. Was that a little extra sake? Behold my thunder brew! The great naggy intoxicator Orochi and defeated him. My sake is my life, surely it can intoxicate even Orochi. Oh, she's... yeah, she's going. Hey, Kushi, wait! She's not gonna take on Orochi herself, is she? No, Kushi, wait! Well, at least he tried to stop her. I thought he was just gonna be like, Oh, bitch, you gotta sacrifice yourself. And Susano's not gonna do nothing about it, because he's a chump. He'll probably show up at the last possible minute, after we've done the sick boss fight. You guys trying to, like, convince him to come out? Come out, Susano! Is this a sacrificial arrow of the work of that legendary monster? Are we doomed to be devoured by that horrible thing? I'm begging you, come out and deliver us from this evil! Susano, open the door! Hey, Pops, open the dang door already! God dang it, Susano. You used to be cool. Hey, look, the arrow's gone. See, everything's fine. Don't even have to worry about it. Arrow's gone. Hayabusa, you saved my life. Is that why you were sitting there the whole time? Were you waiting to push me out of the way of that arrow? I had no idea. I've treated you so bad lately. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I talked to... No, just them. I want to talk to the dog. Well, okay. Things are popping off. Did you see the arrow? Do you have anything to say about the arrow? What's going on? The legendary hero Nagi called this village home. Thought it would be a safe place to do business. But I think I'd better sell up my stock and head back to the city. Don't suppose your owner said- I kinda hate the owner thing. I'm a free dog. I do as I please. Oh, she already got tired. I mean, she was running really fast. You okay, sweetie? <sighs> Don't try to stop me soon, or you, Snowy. If Orochi's chosen victim runs away, disaster will befall Kamiki. But that's not why I'm doing this. What? There's too much suffering in the world. I'm going to use my sake to rid us of the evil menace. Are you crazy? We're talking about the dread of Orochi here. That attitude's gonna get you killed. 
You really think you'd win with a little jug of sake? It's okay, I laced it with a lot of poison. Yes, Sisun. I guess I am crazy. But it's the only way, my sake is the only answer. I'm going and I'll defeat that monster with my sake. <sighs> okay. Not you too, Amy. Dang it, why are you getting all worked up? There's no hope of winning. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. I, uh, I thought Amy was gonna throw her, like, over to the village. Just blast her off. Also, it's kind of weird seeing her land on Amy with the uh, disc. It's fine. Let's go. We got a date with Destiny, but also there's something lit up over here. Oh, it's the safe point. Haha, <laughs> silly. We got a date with Destiny. Gonna fight Orochi. Definitely in the game right here. This is this is it. This is the final battle. I have the ability that I need to fight Orochi. You know, the ability to pee on him. Just to taunt him. And there's someone hanging out. Yeah, I guess you would be freaking out, wouldn't you? Kushi, what on earth is are you doing? I hear a deafening peal of thunder from the village just now. Heard. And I'm not good with words. Believe me, this is no night to be wandering about outside. Or riding a dog. Maybe you don't ride a dog. Yeah, I guess she wouldn't have been able to show up because this place was like invisible. So I guess it is good that Amy decided to just let Kushi do her thing. Yo, Waka, where you at? There he is. So is this going to be a dungeon or just an actual fight? I knew you'd come in Matrasu. I take it you enjoyed your rendezvous with the sacrificial girl, eh? I guess Kushi was what he was talking about with his dumb prophecy. None of your business, you half-baked prophet. Huzzah! What? I don't know what he's doing. I mean, he's making the barrier go away with the thing. There he is. He's doing it. Hey, that's the serpent crystal he stole from us. He's doing some sick moves. Yeah. Yeah. For a second, I expected the, uh, song from Pokemon 2000. The hit film Pokemon 2000. Well, the moon cave is open. You've played your part, now leave the rest to me, Amaterasu. Nah, I'm gonna do it. Not you, me. Mm, so that's an evil cave, alright. Oh, good. Oh, the barrier just went back up, so I guess Waka can just not get involved. Why you... What's the meaning of this? Meaning? Hmm. Does the saying, like a moth to a flame, ring any bells? Oh, Waka planned this, because he's a prophet. I mean, you went in on your own accord, no. Of course, only one other besides the victim is supposed to get in. I guess you really don't count, my little bouncing friend. Ha ha ha. Dang it. Looks like we've been set up again, Amy. But were you not planning to enter the cave anyway, Mashere? 
What about Suzano though? He needs to come in and help. It is time for you to shine, Amaterasu. Now let me leave you with this little prophecy. You're gonna die. Look, the moon, the moon, the moon came out. I mean, it did already. <laughs> Pardon me, Shere. That wasn't a very good one. I mean, none of them were, but whatever. Au revoir. Why didn't you say baby? I need you to just say... He didn't say his catchphrase. Bah, guess we're stuck here. But we were planning on taking care of that Orochi anyway. Cut it out, Amy. It's no use. Let's go check the place out. I don't want to keep bashing this wall. Oh, Cezanne was thinking about it at least. Yeah, he got a little scared. Can you blame him? He wait, did did he have the wooden sword on his back? You think he would have brought the real one? Moon Cave. So I guess it is a full dungeon. If there's a save point, I probably should do it in a different slot just in case. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. Huh? Oh great. The stairway has crumbled away. God or not, this is just too big a leap for you. We either have to find a way around, or we can go our way. You know, our way. It's so obvious. It's that saying of mine. <laughs> leap before you think. I thought his saying was our way. I know it'll take a lot of guts to do that now. Saying that I need to leap, or just do this? Because this is what I would think. Why did that make wind happen? Maybe if I do it like this. Maybe if I leap. Let's see. No? Amy, this is our only option. I mean, it doesn't look like there's any other way around. And if we waste any more time here, poor little Kushi will get gobbled up. Yeah! I guess we do have to just leap. Okay. I thought we could just make the stairs. Whoa! That was quite a fall. What have we gotten ourselves into this time? Well, now that we're down here, I hope you can sniff out Kushi's whereabouts for a ball. Hold it right there, Fluffy. I didn't know the imps could talk. What do you think you're doing? What business do you have at the moon cave? Stronghold of our master, the great Orochi. Over there. Gasp. Oh, you. Never thought I would see your face here. I can spot you a mile away. You fixing for fight, you chumps? Well, we don't have time to mess around with bit players like you. But if you insist, then hurry up so I can cut you to shreds. Why are you just a dumb old wolf? Huh? Yeah, look at that foolish mug. You've got to be the dumbest looking wolf I've ever seen. And to stray so far into a place like this? You're not too bright, are you, champ? I don't think Fluffy here is much of a threat. Let's not waste any more time here. Yeah. I wonder if Fluffy's just hungry. Oh, thank you. Very kind of you. I just want to leave now. Oh, oh. Just another dungeon altogether? Calcified Cavern. Can I not just punch you? Boy, oh boy, do you look out of it, Mutt. Kind of feel sorry for you. Makes me want to feed you some. Thanks. What the? Not bad for Mutt. What do you want, Fluffy? You're not thinking about going through this gate, are you? Well, think again. There you beyond this gate is no place for Mutt like you. I run off and play somewhere else. I wonder if Fluffy's just hungry. I, they just keep giving me food. Why can't I just beat them up and go through? Actually, let me see if I can just punch the gate. If something will happen if I do that. Nope. Strange. Okay. Maybe it's too magical. Hey, there's the sock. We obtain the Thunder Brew. Fragrant sake representing the culmination of Kushi's skill. Hey, isn't this that babe Kushi's sake? Hmm, there's still some left. But I'm not sure it'll be enough to take care of Orochi. Oh, and we got a golden gate here too. Maybe that's just so you don't uh, do a solid save where you are uh, kind of soft locked in if you're not good enough to get through. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be a soft lock. You just have to get good, but... So you can just go back to exploring if you wanted to. Even then, though, you're still kind of locked into the area, I would imagine. 
So I, I doubt you can go into new zones with Kushi on your back. I wonder if this is even really a zone or if this is just a path up to something. Because they're just giving us good stuff right now and the little imp fellas didn't want to fight. Because they were scared. Because they knew I was a cool wolf. There's like a little water thing over here. Make the little thing go up. Get myself up there. Is that like ice rock? Chop this way. Nah, I don't think it works. I probably need firepower because it's like encased in ice. I would imagine. I wonder if you get it here. Maybe not. Probably not. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I should just go. Well, I can go through this gate. Oh, it's a new enemy type. Whoa. That's one scary M. Whoa. I'm impressed. He might be difficult. I don't know. Oh, he has weird skulls. Also, he dies pretty easily, actually. Chopping didn't seem like a trick that was needed there. Well, okay. I, I'm not as impressed now. I'm sure he could be difficult if he is able to actually, like, do things. We got a mask. Imp's face covering where it to be accepted as one of their own. Hey, this is one of those masks those imps wear. But this one's so plain, no design on it or anything. Of course, any respectable artist can't resist a blank canvas. I mean, you just want to paint something on it, you know? Hold on a sec, Furball. I'm going to spiff it up a bit. Yeah. This is already bad. No, I'm not done! I wasn't done! Hmm, doesn't look half bad on you. No, in fact, you look better than your run-of-the-mill imp. I accidentally let go. Do you like it? No! Okay, okay, Furball, don't get all bent out of shape. Guess I'll have to redo it. Give me a minute, will you? Alright, give me a minute. Okay. It's, it's hard. I tried to make the face from the speech bubbles, but it just kind of stretches weird. Uh huh, and I'm talking. Bet you like it this time. Mmm, no. I have one more idea. Yes, this is fine. Aha, uh -huh, now you're talking. But you like it this time. Yeah. Ta da, now you're one mean looking imp. But seriously, this is no time to fool around. Only an imp would get a kick out of wearing a mask like this. What well, we're screwing around here that Orochi's gonna take poor little Kushian, and I can't bear to think about it. Eater? I think, I think he eats the women, right? No dog. I was going to say not dog, but I ran out of space for a T. But at least this is like readable. The other face just gets like crushed. It got smushed. I tried hard. It didn't work out. At least I didn't spend too much time on it like I did in Hatton time. So I guess now we can just get through. Kind of weird that this place had its own like name convention. It wasn't just part of the moon temple, but I guess it's because it's underground. Not really a lot going on here either. Gonna have to just remember that there was the uh, ice block chest. Go through the gate again. Hello, I am no dog. Hmm? What are you doing here? Looking for intruders? There was that silly looking wolf a while back. But nothing else out of the ordinary. We got this place covered. Get back to your post now. Post? What post? The sacrificial ceremony for the Great Orochi is to be held today. Everyone's busy getting ready. There's no time to play around. 
What are you waiting for? Get in there and help. Oh, uh, okay. I'm on it. No dog. Again, why not just beat them up and go in? I guess because it was funny to have the no dog sign. Look, that's the that's what I wanted to make. And it just didn't work out. It was hard. 